Dear students, welcome back to Inverse Trigonometric Functions Classroom Part 3. In this session, we mainly discuss more problems involving inverse trigonometric functions. Let's consider the problems. Find the value of cot of tan inverse a plus cot inverse a. We know that tan inverse x plus cot inverse x equal to phi by 2. This is the result we use here. Now find the value of cot tan inverse a plus cot inverse a. It is of the form tan inverse x plus cot inverse x that is cot phi by 2. Everybody know the result cot phi by 2 is 0. So the answer is 0. Second question. Find the value of tan inverse 2 cos 2 sin inverse 1 by 2. Let's consider the answer. Tan inverse 2 cos 2 sin inverse 1 by 2. We know that sin inverse 1 by 2 is 30 degree or pi by 6. So the answer becomes tan inverse 2 cos 2 sin inverse 1 by 2 can be written as 30 degree or pi by 6. Then answer changes like this. Now 6 and 2 get cancelled. Then it becomes tan inverse 2 cos pi by 3. 2 and 6 cancelled. What is cos pi by 3? Cos 60 again 1 by 2. That is tan inverse 2 into 1 by 2. That is tan inverse 1. What is the value of tan inverse 1? That is pi by 4. We pass to next question. Find the value of tan half into sin inverse 2x by 1 plus x square plus cos inverse 1 minus y square by 1 plus y square. Let's see the answer. In the answer, we see that sin inverse 2x by 1 plus x square and cos inverse 1 minus y square by 1 plus y square. In the properties, we already studied that 2 tan inverse x equal to sin inverse 2x by 1 plus x square and also 2 tan inverse x equal to cos inverse 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square. Using this property, we can change the bracket like this. That is tan 1 by 2 into instead for sin inverse 2x by 1 plus x square, we can replace it by 2 tan inverse x. Then it becomes 2 tan inverse x plus what is cos inverse 1 minus y square by 1 plus y square which is of the form cos inverse 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square form instead for x here it is y so 2 tan inverse x become instead for this x we can write it as y then the answer is 2 tan inverse y then second part is 2 tan inverse y. Now 2 is common in these two terms. So we can take outside. Then it becomes tan 1 by 2 into 2 into tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. Now 2 get cancelled. Remaining tan tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. It is already studied in property. Tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is yes, what is it? Tan inverse x plus y by 1 minus xy. Now, again it is of the form tan tan inverse x. What is it? It is x. Here x is x plus y by 1 minus xy. Then the answer is 
x plus y by 1 minus x y. If sine of sine inverse 1 by 5 plus cos inverse x equal to 1, find x. Let's see the answer. Sine of sine inverse 1 by 5 plus cos inverse x equal to 1. Therefore, sine inverse 1 by 5 plus cos inverse x equal to sine inverse 1. That is sine inverse 1 pi by 2. Therefore, sine inverse 1 by 5 plus cos inverse x equal to pi by 2. Such a result already studied. What is the result? Sin inverse x plus cos inverse x equal to pi by 2. Now, both angles become same. Therefore, x equal to 1 by 5. So, tan inverse 2x plus tan inverse 3x equal to pi by 4. Let's see the answer. Tan inverse 2x plus tan inverse 3x equal to pi by 4, which is of the form tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. You know that it is tan inverse x plus y by 1 minus xy. Therefore, this can be written as tan inverse 2x plus 3x by 1 minus 6x square that is pi by 4. Therefore, 5x by 1 minus 6x square equal to tan pi by 4. Tan inverse become tan pi by 4. You know that tan pi by 4 or tan 45 is 1. Therefore, 5x by 1 minus 6x square equal to 1. Take cross multiplication. 5x equal to 1 minus 6x square minus 6x square and 1 take to LHS then it becomes 6x square plus 5x minus 1 equal to 0. It is a second degree equation. We have to solve the second degree equation. It is easy splitting mediative. That is find two numbers whose product is 6 into minus 1 minus 6 and its sum is the coefficient of x. First find two numbers satisfying the property product minus 6 and sum 5. What are the numbers 6 and minus 1? 6 into minus 1 equal to minus 6. 6 plus minus 1 equal to 5. So this middle term can be written like this. 6x square plus numbers are 6 and minus 1 that is 6x minus x. 5x can be written as 6x minus x minus 1 equal to 0. 6x is common here. 6x into x plus 1 minus 1 into x plus 1 equal to 0 means x plus 1 into 6x minus 1 equal to 0. If product of two numbers is 0 means either first number equal to 0, therefore x equal to minus 1. Second number equal to 0, therefore x is equal to 1 by 6. Find the value of sin inverse sin 2 pi by 3. Sin inverse sin 2 pi by 3 not equal to 2 pi by 3. Why 2 pi by 3 not belongs to the closed interval minus pi by 2 pi by 2. What is closed interval minus pi by 2 pi by 2? That is the range of sin inverse x. This value not belongs to the range of sin inverse x. What is the value of 2 pi by 3? That is 2 into 180 by 3 get cancelled 61 to me. It is more than 90. So, 2 pi by 3 not belongs to the range of sine inverse x. So, in such questions, we must convert this angle into the range. 
that is sin inverse sin 2 pi by 3 can be written as sin inverse sin 2 pi by 3 can be written as 3 pi minus pi by 3 that is sin inverse sin pi minus pi by 3 what is sin pi minus x which belongs to second quadrant in second quadrant sin is positive then sin pi minus x equal to sin x using this we can write it as sin inverse sin pi by 3 now it is of the form sin inverse sin x what is sin inverse sin x is x so the answer is pi by 3 pi by 3 means 60 degree that is clearly belongs to closed interval minus pi by 2 pi by 2 so what's the answer pi by 3 not 2 pi by 3 find the value of tan inverse tan 3 pi by 4 tan inverse tan 3 pi by 4 can be written as tan inverse tan 4 pi minus pi divided by 4 that is tan inverse tan pi minus pi by 4 tan pi minus pi by 4 is of the form tan pi minus x what is tan pi minus x that is minus tan x so this can be written as tan inverse minus tan pi by 4 now tan inverse minus tan pi by 4 is of the form tan inverse minus x what is tan inverse minus x minus tan inverse x these are two results we used here that is minus tan inverse tan pi by 4 now minus tan inverse tan pi by 4 of the form tan inverse tan x that is x sin is negative that is minus pi by 4 belongs to the range of tan inverse x minus pi by 2 pi by 2 prove that sin inverse 3 by 5 minus sin inverse 8 by 17 equal to cos inverse 84 by 85 let's see the answer first we put sin inverse 3 by 5 equal to x therefore sin x equal to 3 by 5 draw the right triangle mark this as x sin means opposite by hypotenuse then using Pythagoras theorem third side equal to 4 root 25 minus 9 that is root 16 equal to 4 therefore cos x equal to adjacent by hypotenuse that is 4 by 5 second one sin inverse 8 by 17 take it as y that is sin inverse 8 by 17 equal to y therefore sin y equal to 8 by 17 again draw the right triangle and this angle is taken as y sin means opposite by hypotenuse using Pythagoras theorem third side is 15 therefore cos y equal to adjacent by hypotenuse that is 15 by 17 the answer is cos inverse therefore we take cos question minus then find cos x minus y what is cos x minus y cos x cos y plus sin x sin y yes what is cos x we find that cos x equal to 4 by 5 into what is cos y it is 15 by 17 plus 
what is sin x 3 by 5 into what is sin y 8 by 17 simplify 60 divided by 85 plus 24 divided by 85 that is 84 by 85 cos x minus y equal to 84 by 85 therefore x minus y equal to cos inverse 84 by 85 what is x we take x as sin inverse 3 by 5 therefore sin inverse 3 by 5 minus what is y yes sin inverse 8 by 17 equal to cos inverse 84 by 85 that's the answer prove that 2 sin inverse 3 by 5 equal to tan inverse 24 by 7 here 2 sin inverse 3 by 5 convert into 2 tan inverse x4 so sin inverse convert into tan inverse in short we draw a right triangle and consider this as x then what is sin x opposite by hypotenuse using Pythagoras theorem the third side is 4 from this figure tan x equal to 3 by 4 then 2 sin inverse 3 by 5 can be written as 2 tan inverse sin inverse 3 by 5 change into tan inverse 3 by 4 that is in short find tan x and write tan inverse 3 by 4 x is equal to tan inverse 3 by 4 that is that's equal to tan inverse 2 into 3 by 4 by 1 minus 9 by 16 that is tan inverse 3 by 2 by 16 minus 9 7 by 16 that is tan inverse 3 by 2 into 16 by 7 then 2 and 16 get cancelled 8 times then it become tan inverse 24 by 7 that is RHS hence the result prove that sin inverse 3 by 5 plus cos inverse 12 by 13 equal to sin inverse 56 by 65 put sin inverse 3 by 5 equal to x therefore sin x equal to 3 by 5 draw a right triangle x 90 degree sin means opposite by hypotenuse then using Pythagoras theorem the third side is 4 and find cos x that is adjacent by hypotenuse second one cos inverse 12 by 13 that is taken as y therefore cos y equal to 12 by 13 again draw right triangle this angle is taken as y 90 degree cos means adjacent by hypotenuse then using Pythagoras theorem third side is 5 therefore sin y equal to from figure sin y equal to 5 by 30 the answer is sin inverse so we take sin question is plus then find sin x plus y that is sin x cos y plus cos x sin y sin x cos y plus cos x sin y substitute the values what is sin x 3 by 5 into what is cos y 12 by 13 plus cos x 4 by 5 into sin y 5 by 13 
12 into 3, 36, by 5 into 13, 65, plus 4 into 5, 20, by 65. Both the denominator same, then answer 56 by 65. That is sin x, x plus y. Therefore, x plus y equal to sin inverse 56 by 65. What is x? In this, we take x is equal to sin inverse 3 by 5. That is sin inverse 3 by 5 plus. What is y? y is cos inverse 12 by 13. That's equal to sin inverse 56 by 65. That's the answer. Prove that. Sin inverse 8 by 17 plus sin inverse 3 by 5 equal to tan inverse 77 by 36. Here the answer is tan inverse. So the sin inverse converting to tan inverse. That is sin inverse 8 by 17 plus sin inverse 3 by 5 equal to each of sin inverse converting to tan inverse in short we draw a right triangle and mark it as sin sin means opposite by hypotenuse then what about the third side hypotenuse square minus altitude square that is 289 minus 64 equal to 225 take the root third side become 50 then in this figure tan of the angle equal to 8 by 15 take it as tan inverse that is tan inverse 8 by 15 plus second figure again draw a right triangle given the sign sign means opposite by hypotenuse by using Pythagoras theorem, the third side is 4 and in the second figure, tan of the angle equal to 3 by 4. So, sin inverse 3 by 5 can be taken as tan inverse 3 by 4. Now, it is of the form tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. What is tan inverse x plus tan inverse y? Tan inverse x 8 by 15 plus y 3 by 4 by 1 minus 8 by 15 into 3 by 4. That is tan inverse, take cross multiplication, 32 plus 45 by 60 all divided by 1 minus 24 by 60. Again simplify, we got tan inverse 32 plus 65 equal to 77 by 60 all divided by 60 minus 24 by 60. 60 get cancelled. Then it become tan inverse 77 by 36. What's that? RHS tan inverse 77 by 36. That's equal to RHS. Hence the Prove that tan inverse 1 by 5 plus tan inverse 1 by 7 plus tan inverse 1 by 3 plus tan inverse 1 by 8 equal to 5 by 3. We begin the answer from LHS. Take two terms together. Then it become tan inverse 1 by 5 plus 1 by 7 by 1 minus 1 by 5 into 1 by 7 plus tan inverse 1 by 3 plus 1 by 8 by 1 minus 1 by 3 into 1 by 8 that is tan inverse cross multiplication 7 plus 5 divided by 35 by 35 minus 1 by 35 plus tan inverse 8 plus 3 by 24 by 24 minus 1 by 24 that is 35 get cancelled 
remaining. Tan inverse 12 divided by 34 plus tan inverse 11 divided by 24. Again 12 and 34 cancelled by 2. Then the answer is tan inverse 6 by 17 plus tan inverse 11 by 23. Again use the formula tan inverse x plus tan inverse y that is tan inverse 6 by 17 plus 11 by 23 by 1 minus 6 by 17 into 11 by 23 that is tan inverse cross multiplication 6 into 23 that is 132 sorry 138 plus 17 into 11 187 divided by 391 all divided by 391 minus 66 divided by 391 now 391 get cancelled remaining tan inverse 138 plus 187 that is 325 divided by 391 minus 66 that is again equal to 325 that is tan inverse 1 what is the value of tan inverse 1? That is pi by 4. Hence the result. Prove that 9 pi by 8 minus 9 by 4 sin inverse 1 by 3 equal to 9 by 4 sin inverse 2 root 2 by 3. We begin the answer from LHS. What is the LHS? 9 pi by 8 minus 9 by 4 sin inverse 1 by 3. Here 9 by 4 is common. So we can write it as 9 by 4 into pi by 2 minus sin inverse 1 by 3. This bracket is of the form pi by 2 minus sin inverse x. What is pi by 2 minus sin inverse x? That is cos inverse x. But x is equal to 1 by 3. Then answer is 9 by 4 into cos inverse 1 by 2. But it is not the answer. The answer is sin inverse. So cos inverse convert into sin inverse using right triangle. We draw the right triangle and consider this angle given that cos inverse. Cos means adjacent by hypotenuse using Pythagoras theorem. The third side is root 8. Root 8 can be written as 2 root 2. Am I right? Yes. From figure, sin x or sin of this angle equal to opposite sin that is 2 root 2 by hypotenuse. We write it as cos inverse that is 9 by 4. Sorry, 9 by 4 sin inverse 2 root 2 by 3. That is RHS. Prove the match. Tan inverse root 1 plus x minus root 1 minus x by root 1 plus x plus root 1 minus x equal to pi by 4 minus half cos inverse x. Let's see the answer. To solve this, we use the result 1 minus cos 2x equal to 2 sin square x and 1 plus cos 2x equal to 2 cos square x. These two results are needed to solve this problem. Here we begin from LHS. What's LHS? Tan inverse root 1 plus x minus root 1 minus x divided by root 1 plus x plus root 1 minus x. To form like this, we put x is equal to cos 2 theta. Therefore, 2 theta equal to cos inverse x and theta equal to half cos inverse x. Then, LHS become tan inverse root 1 plus cos 2 theta 
minus root 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by root 1 plus cos 2 theta plus root 1 minus cos 2 theta. What is 1 minus cos 2x? 2 sin square x and 1 plus cos 2x? 2 cos square x. Therefore, 1 plus cos 2 theta become 2 cos square theta and 1 minus cos 2 theta become 2 sin square theta. That is tan inverse root 2 cos square theta minus root 2 sin square theta divided by root 2 cos square theta plus root 2 sin square theta. What is root 2 cos square theta? That is root 2 into cos theta and root of 2 sin square theta can be written as root 2 sin theta. Root 2 is common in both numerator as well as in denominator. Then it become tan inverse cos theta minus sin theta by cos theta plus sin theta. How to solve this? Divide both numerator and denominator by cos theta. Then it becomes this equal to tan inverse. Divide by cos theta. Then cos theta by cos theta is 1. Sin theta by cos theta is tan theta. That is 1 minus tan theta by 1 plus tan theta. Yes, you know the result. 1 minus tan theta by 1 plus tan theta is tan pi by 4 minus theta. That is tan inverse tan pi by 4 minus theta. Now, it is of the form tan inverse tan x. What is tan inverse tan x? It is clear that x instead for x here pi by 4 minus theta. What is theta? You know that theta is half cos inverse x. Then the result becomes pi by 4 minus half cos inverse x. What's the RHS? S same. So we write this equal to RHS. Hence the present.